Hey everyone, it's Erica. I have a process video for you for the Hip Kit Club creative team, and I'm going to be mixing old kits with the new kit. I have the June 2023 main kit here that I'm going to quickly flip through for you, and then I'm also going to be mixing in some bits and pieces from the July 2022 kit. So I have all of the papers here in the main kit for June 2023, and I'm going to be using one of these pattern papers for my base, and then I'm going to pull in a piece of the cardstock from this month's cardstock kit as the base. And it's just a uh, white background. I am going to fussy cut some of these florals from this paper here. And then I'm going to use this paper here as my background, that pretty, pretty yellow. This one here with all the frames, I'm going to fussy cut all those frames and use that on a future layout. And then I love that blue there. Then I'm going to go through the embellishments. The alpha in this main kit is so pretty. I love the blue, and it's kind of hard to see with the lights, but it's really, really pretty. You have some gold glitter foam stickers. Here are some uh, stickers here from the main kit. And then there is a uh, pack of these mini envelopes, which I absolutely love. I know we've got these um, similar envelopes in the past, and these are really fun to use on your layouts. They are double-sided, really pretty colors and patterns and then a pack of die cuts. So I'll quickly flip through the die cuts in this pack and show you, and then I'm gonna put them here in my little tray. From the July 2022 kit, I am gonna pull in um, some die cuts and some fussy cut florals, and let's see, what else do I pull in? Oh, some puffy stickers from that kit as well. I don't have a whole lot of pieces from that kit. Um, I did, uh, let's see, I think it was just the puffy stickers some ephemera, and then some papers that I had from that kit. So here is that kit here that I'm showing you. Really, really pretty fun kit. I absolutely love that. So there's the die cuts I have in a little zip bag, and then the papers, which I don't use any of the papers in this kit. It's mostly just the embellishments that I mix in with the new. So the photos I'm going to be using are the, I have two photos that my daughter took of me when we went to the George Strait Chris Stapleton concert. Um, we kind of went to Mel, like Milwaukee, like some restaurants and a bar and um, took some pictures like around where we were eating. I think our restaurant was called Hacienda. So around that area, there was a um, like an alley and it was like painted. One of the fences was painted. So we took some photos there. She took some of me. And um, so I thought it'd be fun to document these. So I'm going to uh, cut up these strips here. This is the cardstock from the cardstock kit. Run it through my favorite border punch and then adhere it to that pretty yellow pattern paper from the June 2023 kit. Um, I thought the photos were really fun and colorful and I thought they would go great with these two kits. So the July 2022 kits has a lot of like cowboy boots and country music things and um, Let's see what else. The cowboy boots, cowboy hats, just really, really fun country type things. So I thought it would go perfect with my photos of um, that the day that we went to the George Strait Chris Stapleton concert. So mixed in with this kit, it was just perfect. So I love how bright the photos are. And I thought it was really pretty having that blue against that pretty yellow background. So here are some of those embellishments. I'm going to mix in a couple of the embellishments from both kits. So I love that yeehaw, but I don't end up using it. But it's really, really cute. I thought it's perfect with those photos too. I have my cowboy boots on. So I am going to make sure that I put some cowboy boots on the layout. And then I think I do a cowboy hat as well. Um, we didn't end up doing cowboy hats. We were going to, but we didn't end up finding any. So we just did our cowboy boots. So I'm going to pull out embellishments that I want to use. And this layout is super simple, but it's really pretty because there's lots of little details like the border. This border right here is like a doily border punch and it's really pretty. I used have used this so many times on the layout. It's just super pretty and it adds little detail to the background. So the white strips, I believe are like an inch and a quarter, maybe just a little bit larger than an inch and a quarter, but they're not quite inch and a half. Um, and then I just adhere them all over the 12 by 12 background. And it's just so pretty. And I do lift up the ends of the border punches just to give it some dimension as well. But I have used this so many different ways, like in a rainbow order or um, just like 
stacked all the way down the layout to where it covers everything where I don't leave any space in between or I've used it to frame a layout. It's just really pretty and I just absolutely love it. I'm going to fussy cut some of those florals and then I have right here you can see I have the embellishments down kind of how I want to have them on the page. I do want to mat the photos and I pulled in this really pretty uh, lavender uh, cardstock from the cardstock kit. So I'm going to map my photos on that, just leaving a little bit of border because some of the florals in this uh, that I fussy cut have that pretty uh, lavender and then some pink. So I want to make sure to add a little bit more behind the photos. So I'm going to get those matted and then get them adhered down. One of my photos is adhered directly to the layout and the other one is popped up on some thin foam. And then I'm just going to start to lay out all these embellishments and get them stuck down to the layout for... Um, this little word here it's like a little die cut and it says let's see choose I think it's choose boots instead of heels always pick boots over heels and I thought that was cute and then um, it does have a little cowboy uh, boot next to it but I ended up swapping it for a cowboy boot die cut that had some color to it and then I have a little rainbow above that and then I'm gonna tuck in some fussy cut florals to that um, cluster there to the left side of the layout, I have that guitar that says country music is good for the soul. I love older country music like George Strait. Um, he's one of my favorites. He was my dad's favorite and I absolutely love him. Um, Chris Stapleton is one that I love as well, but older country music is what I like to listen to. I don't listen to a whole lot of it, but if I am going to listen to it, I do love older country music. So I do have laurels over to the left. Um, and I create a little bit cluster there. There is a heart there as well that says wild and free. And then there are some frames from the July 2022 kit that I do cut up and kind of um, tuck in around the layout as well. One of them says remember and then the other one says memories and then um, I have those tucked in at the bottom and then at the top of the layout I have the top of those frames. That pretty much finishes it up. I do add in some puffy hearts here from the July 2022 kit. And then I'm going to go in with some gold uh, acrylic paint. And I think the paint does come from the June 2023 kit. And if it doesn't come from the color kit from June, then I think it might have been in last month's kit. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it is in the June 2023 kit. So it's a really pretty paint. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a gold splatter, I mix this with a little bit of water and just use the paintbrush. And I absolutely love the gold in this. I'm always, I always have a hard time finding the perfect gold because my Heidi shine is like all gone. But this one is really good. It was my first time using it and I absolutely love it. And this little jar is going to go a long way. So if you're interested in the color kit, make sure you pick it up because this gold paint is perfect. So once I get the splatters done, I will have some still shots for you guys at the end. I think this is the last thing I do is add the splatter, pretty sure. And then um, you guys see all of the little details of the layout. Make sure you head on over to the Hip Kit Club site and check out these beautiful kits. There's a little, um, some of them are low stock for June, um, but there are still um, bits of it available. So I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.